Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero Season 2 Part 2 Episode number 12 and this is the last episode of this season. Um, like I'm gonna miss this show. I like ReZero has always been my favorite and like after coming like Season 2 come, uh, came out and especially Part 2 came out I've grown more fond of this show and i know that the like novel is still i think ongoing so we are sure to get more seasons in the future but you know the wait you have to wait for it like <laughs> and i'm really going to like you know miss uh, like reacting to this show each uh, like every week and rezero is like such a like amazing show like uh, a lot of shows i've seen kind of like uh, like are good shows but rezero is I've, I've seen one thing in ReZero that is it kind of improves itself each and every episode every passing episode the show gets better and better and that is the main charm of ReZero and uh, like yeah like Subaru was a character who was uh, definitely not one of the brightest not one of the strongest he was just an ordinary you know you know like an ordinary kid with his own problems but the way he changed in this couple of episodes like a couple of seasons it's phenomenal and i don't think i've seen any anime do it so well uh, it meshes so well so yeah okay, anyways like i'm talking about the show in itself which i'm going to do after the reaction ends i'm going to talk about it what i uh, like you know liked about free zero and everything so anyways uh, uh okay let's talk about the previous episode episode number 11 it was one of the best episodes and I feel like I like say this word each and every episode of Rezero that it is the best episode. But yeah, <laughs> like the Beatrice's episode was uh, by far one of the best episodes. Uh, just like all the other episodes in this season. Anyways, so yeah, like uh, like Beatrice is finally, you know, her um, problem has been kind of cleared by Subaru, as Subaru said that like i cannot choose you but you have to choose me like help me like i need your help and i think like that was the thing that you know like beatrice needed and like ekidona herself i think kind of mentioned in one of the uh, like previous episodes that she wanted to know who beatrice chose so yeah like it's not that that person is there's there's no that person that person was something that Ekidona told Beatrice to choose, like thought that Beatrice would choose for herself. But unfortunately, Beatrice did not understand that and kept waiting for 400 years until and unless like Subaru came and like made her understand. So, yeah, that was uh, like a, an amazing episode and thank like thank God like Beatrice is with us and uh, like I'm sure and Ram is also fine and like I'm sure like in this episode Beatrice and Subaru is going to like defeat all the like rabbits the great rabbit so yeah let's see like let's get started without further ado let's get started with rezero season 2 part 2 episode number 12. all right so i'll be putting in subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go excuse me Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's. Let's go. Oh. We'll defeat him. <laughs> wow. My God, what the? Yeah, Subaru. Yeah. Damn, the... Yeah, let's go for the revenge, you know? Revenge for eating Subaru. 
Now we'll eat you. <laughs> I, I know that's impossible, but still, I wanted to say it. Damn. Beatrice is like an AOE mage, you know? Like, <laughs> like she is perfect for this job. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Damn. She's like teleporting and spewing off AOE spells. <laughs> Minia. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, Emily is here as well. Okay. <laughs> That's true. Damn. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... Like freeze them or do something. <clears throat> okay, he's like uh, making a yeah, like a boundary so that it cannot go outside. Okay, like. Emily is going to strengthen that. Like, make a wall or something? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh, she's lifting it up. Okay. That's better. Okay. Chamak? What? Oh. Oh, damn. They're eating it each other. Oh, is this Al Chamak or? I'm guessing it's a stronger version of Chamak. Damn. Imagine Subaru learning this spell Al Chamak. <laughs> Oh, okay, so... So the Great Rabbit is over? It won't be coming back again? I'm guessing? Uh. Okay, Ram is okay. Hmm. <laughs> 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 wow. Okay, that was nice. Oh, okay. What now? They're still not showing her face. I'm really curious.
<laughs> but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Arrogant answer, yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow. Good. Damn, Beatrice. That is an answer, I have to say, like, applaud. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, but... Yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe he's doing that. Like, his soul. Soul of another will not. Oh. Maybe his descendants. Yeah, like, that's what I thought. Like, he is transcribing his soul in his. Descendants or <clears throat> Oh my god Lap <laughs> Yeah, that is <laughs> <coughs> Come on, show her face. What's happening? Like, yep, I knew it. The face is. Why is her face like this? Like, I don't get it. Like, when she, like, the face she shows us as Echidona, that's completely different. Why is it even hidden, you know? I'll have to talk about this later on. Hm. Ah, fuck. Hmm. Yeah, like he can't come, you know. Not all, not all hope is lost. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Damn, she's like, yeah. Try <laughs> to Damn, she's like, stuttering. Oh. Oh, okay. What? 
What? <laughs> Wait, what? I, I think she's misunderstanding something. Oh, the the kiss. She she's one of those characters, you know, like the thing. <laughs> Yeah, she, she's one of those characters, you know, the, who thinks that uh, kissing is like... <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Yeah. Cabbage feels what? Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I, I knew she's one of those characters. Oh my god, Puck is like... <laughs> Puck told her... Okay, there you go. Oh, that was Garfield. <laughs> I thought it was Subaru. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the, that meme where like, the Jojo meme where everyone like hits... Is hitting a character? Bizarre taste. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that and also the... Yeah, like, he's one of the strongest, you know? What? Oh, yeah. Purification. Okay. Oh, some kind of contract? Yeah, I thought so. What is this? Old sealed with a curse. Oh. Oh. Okay, so he's, he's making a contract again, like oath. All right. Hmm. Oh my God, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, he is like betting upon Ekidona. Oh yeah, that. Okay. Okay. What? <clears throat> what? What? Oh! That's true. <laughs> it slipped my mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that's quite true. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Well, everything's happy, and I hope it stays like that. <laughs> you know, you cannot trust this show. Uh, this is the uh, like scene from the opening. I think so. Branch family. This this is. Yeah, thought so. Oh. Okay, I'm confused about one thing. I'll talk about it later on. <clears throat> That's okay, you know, but like you don't have to like sacrifice others. Oh boy. Okay. And there's Amelia. Who is, is this girl? Is, is this that girl he said Arnero said? He's a new character, isn't it? Aren't the Prince of Words for today? All right, <clears throat> it's better, you know, than killing everyone. Like, accepted it.
<laughs> Garfield is still trying to. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. Damn, that was something. <laughs> All right, that was nice. Hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a little kid. <laughs> oh my god yeah if that's something that a kid does like uh, uh. hmm Oh, the promise. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Damn, the visuals, the sparkling. <laughs> hmm. 
Damn, look at Garfield. Hmm. Wow. Offbeat steps under the moonlight. Damn, that was. <laughs> okay, let's see what. <laughs> like, oh my god, Garfield Otto is drunk. <laughs> oh. And now. Oh, Ram and Rem. Okay, like I could see in the you know like, like Ram is looking at Rem, and I think she kind of obviously like she must have like felt that like she is somehow related to me because they look so similar, you know. <laughs> Peter and Beatrice. <laughs> wow. Uh, Roswell and Ruzu, okay, they're like having, like you know, uh, some conversation about the past. I'm guessing nostalgic conversations. Oh, this this girl, her name was Anna Rose. I'm guessing she's going to be one of the main, no, not main, but one of the supporting characters in the upcoming seasons because, you know, she looks like a, a one of those characters. <laughs> Oh boy, super went. <laughs> what are they doing? Like, <laughs> uh, okay. All right, that's the end. Any new announcements? No. Ah, uh, we'll have to wait for the next announcement for the next season. And yeah. Okay, so that was a perfect ending. Um. You know, like, <laughs> like ReZero's, like, usually ReZero has this kind of a setting like this, like, um, I think 12 episodes, uh, where the first half kind of goes extremely wrong, you know, like, extremely wrong, and, like, it's kind of, like, in a bad situation. Then in the next half, that is the next 12 uh, or so episodes, it's, it starts with extremely, in that extremely wrong position, it, it starts to get better and better and better, and by the end of the 24 episodes, it's all happy and it's all fine. Then starts the next season. And in the first episodes, things get like extremely bad again. And it, it, like everything gets messed up. And it starts to worsen and worsen and worsen up till the 12th episodes. And then after the 12th episode, it, it again starts with a worsened state and it starts improving and improving and improving. And then by the end of the 24 episodes, everything is okay. Now let's you know let's wait and see what will happen like when third season comes out will it like follow the same pattern <laughs> will it again get like uh, will the uh, first episode will again be messed up again and it start like deteriorating and then everything will be uh like improving as time goes by let's just wait for it and all right so this episode uh first we see obviously like uh, from where we left off <coughs> beatrice and Ubaru comes in and <clears throat> so uh the thing that they did is quite uh you know like uh effective because obviously like uh beatrice is like an aoe mage like uh like who do does this kind of splash damage you know uh like he like she like because of that power she could easily like tr like defeat all of them and not easily but it was easy for her because she's not a single targeted attacker like she's like a multiple like you know target attacker so and the rabbits are quite weak as far as we can see like the rabbits were weak but their huge amount was the main problem here 
so like it, it was good that they like uh, so like uh, beatrice was uh, like coming in contact with beatrice and keeping like you know like her hand held subaru was able to uh, i'm guessing uh, use the magic use magic spells and the spell that he used minya or something like that or minya uh, i don't know something like that like uh, alminia <laughs> and <clears throat> that uh, and like he used that to make a fence and that fence uh, was strengthened by emilia by using her power and obviously like uh, within that fence all of the rabbits are there there are no rabbits i hope there are no rabbits you know like outside there were no rabbits outside the fence if even one is you know like kind of goes <laughs> like if even one was like lagging behind and it was outside the fence oh my god it will start another problem later on but i'm assuming all of the rabbits was inside were inside and then uh, like they like lifted the whole place up and um beatrice used a spell that is al shamak now i'm guessing that's a superior version of shamak or something and uh like it kind of made them turn against each other they were like eating each other up and like they died by that and like uh most of them like ate each other and then like beatrice said that i isolated them in a different dimension now that means they are not dead you know that's one thing we should keep in mind they're not dead they're just in a different dimension i hope that does not come to bite them in their back later on you know i don't know like i hope and uh then we see like in the next portion we see like uh, roswell and beatrice having a conversation and uh like and one thing we got to know from here is like uh i kind of thought this from like you know uh, that episode like it's not that they're descendants it's, it's not that it's that they are descendants i think they're descendants uh, roswell's descendants but the soul you know they're like transplanting the soul into their descendants and one thing roswell said is like you cannot do this to anyone you know like uh, if you can do this to anyone then it would have been easy for them to bring back echidona like like transplanting her soul to any other body but that's not possible it needs to be someone who you are like extremely similar with for example your descendants so that's why they were able to like roswell was able to do it now here is the weird portion now i like mentioned this from the beginning they were not showing us echidona's face uh like at least in their flashbacks now if echidona was a character who we did not know i could understand that okay they're like uh, you know uh, hiding her face for like a big reveal later on but that was not the case we know echidona we know echidona uh, emilia knew echidona everyone knows echidona uh, subaru met her in uh, like <clears throat> the dream state and that other like tea party now uh here comes a question like i thought maybe like you know like echidona's face like that is like something that echidona is letting uh like like showing us like that's not echidona's actual body that's just a spirit form i'm guessing so she can like kind of transform uh, her face into anything you know anything so that's why uh, i thought maybe their face is different and it turns out that that is really the case because in like in the you know in the, in the previous episode when uh, emilia came and saw echidona's body she said who is this and that that kind of struck me you know like i thought that emily is unable to recognize her that means uh, the face that we are accustomed to seeing on echidona that is actually not how she looks like but like i don't one thing i really do not understand is why like why did echidona change her face in front of uh like subaru and uh we call it um, emilia and like what is the reason for that okay now here is it is like we see her face now i don't know like yeah like uh she is a little bit different her face like her face is more what can i say wearish and her like nose is a bit large compared to i don't know like 
yeah like this is definitely not echidona like they look similar but like their eyebrows are like you know white and everything but their face is not similar at all now then we see her act like you know her like the next scene we see her kind of like looking at us and like kind of smiling yeah she is that the face we are accustomed to seeing or is it the actual face i cannot tell because their same like face is extremely similar but at the same time they're not similar it's kind of weird you know like we can see her and say that oh like yeah they're definitely different faces but then at the same time when you look at her closely you can also see that even though it's different it's kind of same like i really do not know what is the significance of this why did like Ekidona even change her face? You know, like I, I I'm not sure if this has some kind of uh you know bigger reason or something. Who knows? I, I'm actually not sure. Like th this was the only confusion that I have with this episode because like like I understood that she has changed her face, but what is the reason for that? You know, like anyways I, i'm sure like we will get a confirmation eventually and i'll understand eventually as like if uh, like after the third season comes out or something but yeah like this is like a confusion i have anyways so that and then we get to the next portion where uh, uh, subaru and emilia is like talking and emily is like one of those characters you know like <laughs> So those anime characters who are really not uh like sure about uh these kind of things how like uh you know like how uh babies are made or something like that those characters <laughs> it's like an anime trope you know so yeah i kind of like recognize the trope whenever like emilia just when emilia said that word that like uh like <laughs> i have a baby <laughs> and yeah and uh, that was that and then we get to the next portion where everyone is beating up Roswell <laughs> and like <laughs> this reminded me of like I've not seen Jojo like I've seen Jojo I think uh, two or th uh, two parts or three parts uh, I've seen Jojo up until like Jotaro but like I think like there's like a meme where I think that's a Jojo meme isn't it where like there's like uh, one person like uh, in the ground and everyone is like you know <laughs> like kicking him beating him up and there's this one character who's like sipping Oh, like wine and after sipping his wine he puts down his glass and starts beating him up as well <laughs> that's what reminded me of this like even though i do not know like jojo but like the memes are everywhere you know like we all know the memes so yeah that reminded me of that and <laughs> like uh, uh and after that like uh we see like uh <clears throat> how roswell kind of um you know like says sorry and Roswell kind of says that okay like I'm making an oath uh, one thing that really like struck my ear is that while he was making that oath um, where is that portion let me just check okay Garfield says that swear it uh, swear you'll not do the thing you've done again swear it okay Roswell here swears never again shall i attempt to sacrifice anyone here in order to achieve something else now i think i'm a little bit like acting paranoid or something I'm, I'm like you know kind of i'm fussing too much about things but one thing really struck me he's saying that never again shall i attempt to sacrifice anyone here um okay so does that mean that if it's not someone you know among these people if there's someone else you would try to sacrifice them you know because oath oath and these covenants and these kind of things are extremely dependent on the words that they say you know like you should ex like keep an eye on the word the words that uh, like is said when you're making an oath or something because like uh, like the oath is that you will not sacrifice anyone here 
I hope that this is something that I am a little bit like you know acting paranoid about and it's nothing to be of concern. But who knows? Maybe Roswell, like like by the end of this episode, we kind of saw that Roswell is still in that neutral position. You know, like he said that I'm keeping an eye on you, Subaru. Like if we're like you know if if the way you're going, if that does not fulfill my wish, and if like you mess up somehow, I'm going to like completely destroy everything. Something like that. He kind of like threatened him in a like passive aggressive way. <laughs> And um, that's why I like he is kind of still in the neutral territory, you know, like more inclining towards the enemy territory. Like he is in a weird position still. Like uh, that's why I'm a little bit concerned about the wordings that he said that sh I shall never attempt to sacrifice anyone here. So, but that kind of like uh, uh, you know, like uh, there's one thing that I am like like relieved about is like he's saying that i won't sacrifice anyone here like that means like all the main characters are already here so that means they won't be like you know like he won't try to sacrifice them but maybe someone else like, i don't know i think like i might be like you know acting too much a little bit too much uh like paranoid but yeah this is roswell you're talking about you should like keep your ears open and like, like like keep an eye out on what he is saying like is he trying to trick us again or is it really his like you know he really changed or something like that i doubt he changed i think he just you know kind of sympathized with them and thought that okay like uh, these guys are fine and like i'll try to you know act alongside them up until uh like you know as he said that if you mess up subaru like i'm taking everything on in my hands so up until subaru doesn't mess up he is definitely their ally but as he said that my main goal is bringing back ekidona that is like still his goal so i can respect that you know like he has been doing this for 400 years and even if uh like he is like you know like no longer like he is kind of still bound by his past but still i can respect it that he will try to revive ekidona but in a different way not like killing everyone and like doing stuff that he did like you know trying to change subaru and like uh, hiring assassins for uh, like all of them like at least he's not going to do those stuff so yeah and then like uh emilia says one of the one of the most normal things he says that okay like you guys are like uh, talking about oaths covenants stuff like that but why hasn't he still apologized and i'm like ah oh, yeah that's that's you know that's quite a true statement <laughs> so yeah like uh like emulet like sees everything in quite a simple way you know like promise should never be broken we should no never say like you know lie to others uh, uh like if someone does something wrong say sorry that's good you know that's quite simple and good <laughs> and like when she said that and everyone was like looking at her like uh, and was thinking like oh yeah that's true you know like we are like like doing all of these like stuff in uh like you know like in a, a weird way like we are like telling him to make some oath and like blaming him beating him up but like the main thing that she should have done is said sorry to us that he didn't do so <laughs> yeah like that's one thing that we should do and like uh, roswell like apologized and okay that's good and then uh, comes the next portion where like uh in, like they like knight subaru like subaru is like now emilia's knight and um there's this new character that was introduced uh Oh, Anna, Annabelle? Yeah. Isn't it? That was her name, wasn't it? Okay, let me just, you know, like, uh, read this portion again. Like, when Roswell is talking with Subaru, uh, he's saying that you will lose things over and over, and each time you get them back, uh, you will carry on these new invisible wounds. That's quite true, you know, like, even though these things that we cannot see, like, Subaru is still suffering. You know mentally and physically in all also in a way 
if any if i lo lost anyone i would not hesitate to reduce everything to ashes yeah this is what he said like you know like if you mess up and if like you are unable to save any like someone like i won't hesitate to re reduce everything to ashes i will not compromise nothing can lead me back to my uh, what nothing can lead me back to my teacher but you subaru and the path you walk now there's one thing i am really curious about why is like roswell's like so like you know like uh, putting everything on subaru like according to him he knows and he's sure of the fact that subaru will be the one who will bring ekidona back he's the key <clears throat> excuse me do this now my question is where did he get this idea from like i think i i think like he is pulling uh, like putting all the faith on him because of his power that is the return by death i think that is the reason why and that's why also he is connected to the witches and he has talked with ekidona that's why i think he is so like putting all of his faith on subaru in like in a blind manner and he he's sure about the fact that yeah subaru will be the one who will help him bring ekidona back one day and along the path that he walks there in some place there is a way to bring ekidona back okay and <clears throat> okay and then um okay there it is okay this this place is called the milord family all right it's a branch of the mathers family oh all right and the leader anna rose is head over heels for emilia sama okay and anna rose i'm guessing is that little uh, girl uh, blue haired i'm guessing which i'm sure we'll get to see more of in the next season i'm guessing because she looks like one of those uh, you know like main side characters <laughs> and um, then okay then they get do that like the, the knighthood ceremony and everyone is there like you know like suited up <laughs> or like uh, garfield is unable to tie his ball <laughs> oh boy and then yeah then the nighting ceremony happens and uh like they're outside and here's another thing like emilia says that you come to my room i have to talk about something i thought maybe they're going to show that to us but they did not show us that so i'm guessing that's something from the next season and like it seemed as if she is really you know bothered by what she is going to say like you know she was kind of like stuttering and hesitating and i'm not actually sure what she's going to talk about with subaru is she going to like uh, say everything like about her past and all like how she is the one who froze everything and how like um like uh battle keys was also someone that she knew about her like fortuna and uh, all of the things i'm guessing and pandora regular scornius I'm, I'm guessing like she's going to say everything and she's kind of concerned like how Subaru will look at her as like she is the actual reason of uh, freezing the whole forest but as Subaru said like that's like no problem like like nothing will dis what's that word called dis dissolution uh, something like that <laughs> yeah like nothing will change his mind and about uh, Emilia Mm. And then he said that okay like re rely on me and all and yeah that was the end and then they have a dance and it ended in a positive manner which is good <laughs> you know because this is ReZero <laughs> oh boy so yeah like I I'm one thing I'm really thankful about you know you know what like they do not end the show in an extremely cliffhanger-ish way or in an extremely bad way because like you know if the season you know ended in the position where like season two part one ended and they went on a long break it would have been extremely <laughs> like taxing you know 
like thinking about it and uh, like thankfully they are doing it in this manner like they're doing like the bad portion is happening the like suffering portion is happening and they're ending it and then after one like three months they're like resuming it like we have to wait for a little bit of time and now i'm guessing we're going to get a big break of uh, i'm guessing uh, six or like nine months and after that i'm sure like it will get renewed the third season will come where like this is like a big break so i'm happy that they did not like you know uh, like leave the season in a manner where it's like extremely cliffhangerish or in ex extremely bad position like no like thank you for that like for ending each and every season in a good note like that's one thing i'm really appreciate i really appreciate uh it and yeah <laughs> and so yeah guys that was it that was this episode this was the last episode and uh, of this season i'm going to miss this show and i hope they bring this back soon you know because as far as i know the light novel is uh quite ahead you know so they have enough source material and uh, yeah and like as i said like rezero started as a good show and it keeps getting better and better and better and that's what i love about this show you know and subaru is like one character whose character development is really satisfying to watch you know like Subaru came in as a character who is extremely what can we say like uh, like he he's not he was not intelligent he is not in any ways he's not like strong he's just an ordinary kid and he had his own problems his own like you know things and like you know like him dying each and every time but still keeping that mindset that yeah I'll save everyone is something that I really you know respect because like Subaru is the personification of what can I say happy like I need a happy ending it's, it's a personification of that and as you know I love happy endings and that's one thing that I want so as, like until and unless Subaru loses you know hope I'm sure that he will keep this you know goal of getting a happy ending and getting like making everyone happy like a happy ending means like when everyone is happy that's a happy ending and that's what Subaru wants he doesn't want to pick like like roswell said like he wants everything and that's greedy <laughs> which i like you know and uh, yeah and i know like the subaru's path actually branches you know in all the like major like uh, what can i say the choices that he makes uh, and it like and i think i think like uh, rezero's author like makes this kind of side stories side if side stories like the wrath route, the like sloth route, the greed route. I think the greed route was uh, the one where uh, like Echidona like gives him like that uh, thing, like that choice that you make a contract with me. And if like Subaru chooses to make that contract, it like branches up to the greed route. So that means, yeah, like Subaru is not as if like Subaru, like this is the best route, the way like Subaru is going. He is like choosing everyone and this is this that this route and uh like there are also like parallel worlds where he would have chosen something else and it completely somehow went wrong you know and uh, i think uh the only happy route is the last route isn't it where like like you know i i don't know i i think like uh last route and also the sloth route i think uh, the slot truth is well like uh, I mean, like Subaru chooses to run away with Ren, like you know, like that's slot as you know, like. But like I think like they had, had like lived lived a happy life after that, and the last route that is a uh, Carmilla's route is also I think something that, uh, like I don't know, like it, it's like he gets everyone, like it's like a harem, end or something. I'm not actually sure, but that is also in kind of a way like in a happy ending. But the other routes I've heard is extremely brutal like especially i think the uh i think the sloth or the greed route one of the roots is like uh Zuru becomes a villain or something and yeah like and there's like this one route where he dies a lot of times i'm not sure but yeah like i've heard this and I'm, I'm not like uh, like I, I i have extreme like i'm quite curious to like you know watch those youtube videos where they kind of like explain it but i think like uh, there are a lot of spoilers in it so that's why i'm like kind of avoiding it so like I'm I'm going to like watch it later on you know, as like we get more seasons. 
and yeah so that's it like this was v0 and you know like i'm really glad that uh the show is going the way i really like you know i'm glad about like i'm really glad the showing is going this way and i think the adaptation is also nice and it has a lot of things like v0 is like a really um a, like a show which is like gaining more popularity and i hope they keep doing these new seasons and uh, yeah so so yeah guys that's it and oh also i have like another announcement uh, i'm going to uh, like i think there's like, there's a, like a visual novel of rezero uh, it's something called what's it called a prophecy of something uh prophecy of the throne is that it uh just a sec prophecy of the throne yeah so like i was waiting for re zero to end that's why like after like after this like episode i'm going to start doing this visual novel in this channel you know so guys if you guys are interested in it i'll like do a playthrough uh if you guys are interested in it uh, i'm 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 going to do it in a few days i'm guessing like i'll start in the next month or something like that so be sure to like keep an eye out because i'm going to start uh, this novel and i'll do like a playthrough so yeah because as you know i love v0 and i'm quite interested in what like checking this out so why not do a video you know but yeah thank you guys for watching so this was uh, re zero season 2 part 2 episode number 12 and this is the final episode of this season i'm going to miss this show and i really hope they bring this back quick so thank you guys for watching and if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please consider doing so because it really helps me out in a lot of ways and comment down below anything you want to say or your opinion about this show or anything you want to share in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day